Hello Coffeeholics, welcome. Today we are going to explore three different recipes and new recipes for your coffee shops. We are going to make espresso tonic. And espresso tonic historically was started in Sweden, perfect for the summer months, especially in the West. In our part of the world, in Asia, it's perfect for every day. It is simply refreshing. For those that love Americano, this is a new twist to your black coffee, espresso tonic. For the ingredients, we are going to use my medium roast coffee beans. We are going to use the espresso machine to pull our shots. And we are going to use tonic water. In this part of the world, we don't find many different variety of tonic water. We only have the standard one, which is Swepps. You can use any brand. For my espresso tonic today, I am going to make three different recipes and I will let you know what each one of them will be as and when we prepare the drink. So stay tuned until the end of this video tutorial. Also, I'm going to put the chow twist to this drink, so probably not the same way that you might have already seen them in other YouTube video tutorials. For the drink today, I'm going to make them in these beautiful glasses. It's 12 ounces. It's enough for us to be trying these drinks. The recipes for 16 and 22 ounces I will put in the description box below for those that want to offer them in larger cups. So let's start by pulling our espresso shots. Christiana always comes with our dog Benny. We are going to make three different drinks here. Okay. Um, espresso tonic, the chow way. I pulled the espresso shots, which is behind you on top of the espresso machine. Okay. So each one, you're going to get one from there and mix it here. So the way I would make my espresso tonic is that I'm going to put the coffee at the bottom and then the bubbly top on top. Usually, most of the espresso tonic are prepared with. Um, First, you put the tonic water underneath and then you top it up with the coffee. Mm -hmm. That way the coffee cascades down, but I like to see it bubbly on top, so I'm going to do it the reverse way. For this one, it's going to be plain and simple. Mm -hmm. It's going to be espresso and tonic, nothing else. Okay, okay? so let's do that. Okay. 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 120 milliliters or four ounces. Okay, that's it. Now get your espresso shot. Start with the one there. Okay, pour it in here. Just pour it. Pour it. Put a little bit of the tonic water. A little bit. A little bit. We just want it to be, it, it has to be um, mixed with the tonic water. This is my way. A little bit. Yeah, put some there. Okay, and then I'm going to pour some ice. Look at that beautiful crema there. Once you put the tonic water, this is what I mean. It looks better, isn't it? Already. Mm. So this has to be really filled to the top with ice because you'd like it to be ice cold. Okay, now you can pour the rest of the tonic water there. Does it matter if I pour it fast or slow? Just try and make sure you get some, some of that spritz on top. Okay. So, there you go. so it looks like it looks really bubbly top. And then let's just put, garnish it with some slice of lemon that looks really refreshing doesn't it right yeah okay well next drink we are going to do a similar one this time we are going to put 
um, a little bit of depth into it, sweet, oh. a little bit of sweet depth into it. And this time we are going to add my homemade sugar syrup. Do you know how to make that? No. She hasn't been watching my video tutorial. Okay. <laughs> Put about one tablespoon, you can adjust this according to your preference. One tablespoon is equal to half an ounce. So that will be 15 milliliters. Don't put it all, I think that's the idea. Grab one of those espresso shots again. And then let's pour it into our glass. I think this will be really nice. Right. <laughs> I hope so too. By the way, give it a bit of a swirl and then let's add the ice. Is it also yep. the same amount? Get, get uh, the same amount, which is 120 milliliters or four ounces. I'll do the ice, you'll do the tonic. So, let's just, let me just uh, give a bit of a swirl. I would like to put that layer there on top, so maybe uh, pour it slowly this time. Oh, maybe pour it a bit high, pour high. Right? Oh, that actually. High. With, uh, with that looks so much better there and the icing of the cake right okay, that looks even lovelier okay now for the third version of the drink we are going to add a bit more depth here we're going to make um, add some spritz into that instead of plain sugar syrup we are going to use lemon syrup and okay. once again we are going to make use of our homemade lemon syrup let's put the same amount half an ounce this time i think i should be okay with this okay into the glass first yes and then grab our last espresso shot there okay give it a bit of a swirl same amount of tonic same amount of tonic Wow, that looks pretty. <laughs> Can we okay. try this? Well, uh, this one, she will say beginner, but it does look good. At the end of it all, this is how they will look like, right? But yeah. I think this looks really gorgeous. Yeah. They look really tempting. It doesn't even look like uh, espresso tonic. It looks like, almost like iced tea, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> with the lemon. <laughs> with the lemon. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, should I just use this? That's okay. Use okay. this one. Mm. <laughs> Last one. Final one. Okay. I really would like to try them now. I'm going to go backward this time. Mmm, wow. Wow. That's all I can say. Yeah. This is wow. a tough one. It's a really, really tough one. Wow. Okay. And they definitely be gin and tonic for me. <laughs> I love gin and tonic as sundowner. <laughs> anyway, okay. It's quite different though. Quite different, but it's, it's just so different. I think that's the key. It's very different. It's mm -hmm. almost like rare and beautiful. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm exaggerating here. Let's, let's check what Christiana has to say. Do um, you want to know my favorite first or do you want to me to describe? I think I'll describe each one first. This is just the espresso and the tonic. Um, there's definitely a bitterness to it. I do taste the lemon that we've put in there at the end to garnish. Um, 
it's definitely the strongest taste out of all of them. This is like, uh, you know, when you're in the mood, like you're you're sophisticated and serious and cal calm and collected. This is the one. Okay. Um, this is this is mm, this is when you're going to the beach on holiday. <laughs> this it's sweet. It's refreshing. You can barely taste the coffee in it. It's almost like a it's almost like iced tea. Um, and then this one, this one's, uh, I was trying to distinguish between the two. Basically this one's sweet, the sweet version of you on the beach. And then this is like, uh, there's a lemonade stand on the beach and you go, you go and get some lemonade and you get this basically. And you're absolutely delighted. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I feel like, uh, unfortunately we are um, on a lockdown here in Bangkok, so no yeah. beach for us at the So moment. this is the only travel vessel we can take to go to the beach. <laughs> Absolutely. There you go. So you don't need to go to the beach, have these drinks. So tell me, what is your favorite among the three? Mm, I honestly think that this is the hardest one that I've ever had to do. Um, but I will do my usual of my everyday drink would be this one because um, you know when you're working and everything like that you don't really want to feel like you're on the beach I don't know maybe you do but um, you do you uh, yeah so this keeps this would keep me focused um, this one's definitely a dessert one so if I were gonna have it at the end of like after a meal or something like that or as a snack like a sweet snack I would definitely go for this one and generally if it's a hot day and I'm just relaxed and everything like that I would take this one all the time yeah okay. yeah but pick one your favorite for right now my mood right now <laughs> because i'm in the middle of my working day i would no i'm in the afternoon of my working day so i'll go for this one yeah okay, well. yeah this <laughs> would be my morning working day yeah how, how is it i mean this is the first time you tried espresso tonic are you surprised pleasantly delighted or i know? mean i was definitely skeptical because i'm quite traditional when it comes to my coffees, uh, but it definitely works. Like it's it's not it's not one of those weird drinks where you think, oh, it's gonna be a fizzy coffee. No, because you don't really taste the coffee. Um, so yeah, I'm yeah I'm pleasantly delighted by them all. Yeah. <laughs> That's sad though. You cannot taste the coffee. <laughs> But I'm sure it would make a difference if you had bad coffee in there though. Yes. It's that thing, what I mean is that it's not overbearing. It's not like, you know, some, some coffee drinks that are a little edgy, like I would classify these as edgy. They really try to keep the coffee in there. So it's like coffee and, and I don't know, some alcohol. Like I've seen some people do that. I don't know if you've done a video yeah, on that. Have you done well, a video on that? Like a coffee and bourbon or something? Oh, Espresso no, bourbon? Yeah, it's like, I, I'm not a huge fan of that because it's like, it, it, it might as well just be bourbon. <laughs> Sorry, under 18s. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's very right. It all depends on the coffee. What I would say, the taste of this coffee is very smooth. It just blends with the other ingredients perfectly. Yeah, they? yeah, yeah. Like the balance is great. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Well, Thank you once again for giving us your honest review now. I feel like uh, I just want this lockdown to be over, over yeah. and I want to go to the beach, have one of these drinks. Yeah. Anyway, there you go. Coffee shops and would-be coffee shops. Be sure to add this on your menu, not just for the summer, but all year round. There will always be a time when you would like to have something different, refreshing and makes you feel like you are on the beach. Yeah, just close <laughs> your eyes. <laughs> Okay, do you have any questions? No. No questions? If you have any questions, do comment below. Let us know. In the meantime, don't forget to click that subscribe button below for more of these video tutorials. Take care, stay safe, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Ciao, Ciao for now. now. <laughs> Yay. They're actually amazingly